Hey everyone, a few days ago I happened to stumble upon a new group called The Connective and they happened to just be taking their first ever personality test, MBTI tests, live on YouTube. And they got their personality type results and I thought, hey, they, this would be the great opportunity for me to test out my typing techniques and to show you guys how to type other people. How can you verify a person's personality type result? How can you know for sure what type another person is? Hello! So today I'm going to do the Myers-Briggs test. Hello everybody! Hey everybody, how's it going? It's uh, Buchillin here. Hello, 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 I am Oxide and I'm DSM. Okay everyone, uh, with the introductions out of the way, what types do you think these people will get? And I am an INFP. INTJ. I'm an entertainer, go figure! <laughs> Mediator? I am... This is really pretty accurate, like... Now a disclaimer for the connective project, I identify people's flow states, which is what makes people happy, what people tend to do when they seem to be the most excited, the most motivated, and the most energized by what they do. I understand that uh, you can come off as a certain personality type in social situations or in certain groups or because of how you developed yourself, but I want to identify what people are at their best. Okay, moving on. What I think you should investigate is the possibility that you are a shy ENFP rather than an INFP. And to build this up, I think that ENFPs are on average much more extroverted on a creative level. ENFPs are socially speaking introverted, but when it comes to information and into ideas, ENFPs lead with intuition and are much more creative, better at seeing connections, better at reading into patterns, better at reading behind the lines, better at building bridges, and quick at making quick abstractions about what they are seeing in front of them. ENFPs prefer to focus on what is normal, what emotions are normal, what social expressions are the right ones, what is the right way to feel, how can I express my feelings, how can I connect better with other people, how can I align myself and understand other people better. The focus is on people rather than on your own emotional life. And to go a little deeper, it's not that ENFPs enjoy managing people or dealing with people as much as it is. They love to study people and understand people and find out people's secrets and what people have beneath all the layers. Finally, advisors, INFPs, act more as people who pull information from within themselves and to use it to help the human collective in some way, bringing some understanding, bringing up issues that we need to discuss, problems we need to talk about. Where ENFPs are people that bring things from outwards. They grab information around them and they bring them to the table and they show people, hey everyone, look at this issue we need to talk about. Look at this problem that is coming up. Look at this new pattern or possibility that we could all explore. Now, for Kitty Kayla, the pattern I would suggest you look into is the opportunity that you might be an ENFJ personality type. And this I base on the theory that ENFJs comparing to INFPs are much more about making connections like the ENFP, seeing what's hidden, uh, making investigations around them, uh, connecting things around them, events, people, things that are happening, but also they are more about making an impact on other people's lives, having an impact on how other people feel, having an impact on social issues. I think that your flow type, how you are at best, is when you are able to engage other people and to manage people, manage groups, manage, manage social dynamics in some way or form. Perhaps you've had issues introducing yourself and expressing yourself around other people, perhaps because you're self-conscious in a way that ENFJs can be. But I would suggest that maybe if you are and if you learn to become more extroverted, and I think you can learn to become much more extroverted than you are today, then you'll find that you'll also become more happy, more engaged, more energized, more motivated in your life and how you live your life. Coming more in touch with your extroversion can also be a way for you to reduce your turbulence and how much you worry today. Intuition and judging is in many ways about taking something abstract like a project idea like yours and coming up with a way to move it forward and to move forward towards it in a linear and direct fashion. 
Now, beyond this, executives and advisors work very differently. Executives enjoy managing people, managing how people work and think and having an impact on others, but also grabbing information around them, seeing new patterns, taking in new information. Where advisors, in many ways, are more about seeing what you have inside, reflecting, processing things, lifting up options for other people to decide on, showing people different perspectives on things. ENFJs are are much more about showing people uh, the right way to think about something or the right or most likely scenario. And they usually stop thinking about more options after they thought of the first one. Now, for Buchilin, I would argue that you are, in fact, an ENTP type, not an ESFP type. And I agree with you. I think that your thinking does go beyond your feeling. And I don't think that was the right call of 16personalities.com. I think that you do have a lot of capabilities of managing people, but this is all under the ENTP spectrum. A lot of ENTPs have feeling and judging highly developed, and you seem to do it as well. You seem to have a good ability to have an awareness of how what you say will impact other people, how you can affect other people with what you say. You have this, however, as your more uh, inferior function, not as your natural flow state. So be wary of uh, using this as your dominant way of being. Now, like many in your team, you're good at seeing connections, reading behind the lines, seeing what's hidden, making investigations around you like a detective, but you have one thing that is different from the others, and that is that you have the hacker function, thinking and perceiving. Thinking and perceiving is amazing at understanding logic, managing different ideas, seeing which ideas or possible ways to solve a problem exist in each moment, knowing how to customize a solution for each situation to explain something in a perfect or near perfect way. Thinking and perceiving is in many ways about breaking down the rules around you, seeing how a group works, seeing how a system works, and being able to understand its finer mechanics. Beyond that, you're an extrovert and a thinking type, meaning you're a pragmatic, you're results-oriented, you're good at understanding data, statistics, charts, and inf pieces of information. Now, you're not necessarily good at organizing this information in a neat way, and you're not necessarily good at uh, becoming an expert. You're more of a jack of all trades than a specialist. Now, your type does more than well at te uh, technology and engineering, so you'll, you won't have to worry about that. Now, your type... The ENTP type does a great job in tech and mechanic related fields, so you'll definitely not have to worry about that. The big issue if ENTPs have any is that they can be lazy and sometimes they have a tendency to talk their way out of any situation or any form of responsibility, so be a little wary of that. Now, for DSM, what I would suggest is that you entertain the possibility that you are, in fact, not an ENFP personality type, but an ENTJ. An ENTJ is your flow state, while ENFP is your development, your subtype. And often, ENTJs in school can often appear like ENFPs. Uh, often, when you are in a situation where you are listening to and following someone else's instructions and trying to abide by other people's criteria, that's when you act the most like an ENFP. Now, the difference is that ENTJs find flow in, rather than looking at what other people think and managing people's emotions and understanding other people and listening to people, in organizing systems, coming up with straightforward and efficient ways to solve problems, finding clear results, getting clear results, statistics, data, information that points to the fact that you're doing something logical, you're doing something that makes sense to you. Beyond this, executives, uh, extroverts and judging types tend to be a little more combative and more open to challenge and to debate than the ENFP, who is much more about sharing information and juggling information in a non-judgmental way. ENTJs love to test an idea's potential. How well does an idea survive criticism and feedback and issues and challenges from other people? That to you speaks to how good merit an idea has. Now, verifying if I'm right or not, I could very, very well be wrong about you all. I just got a quick glimpse into your personality types. But what you can do next is you can start figuring out what habits 
make you the most happy, what you enjoy doing the most, what you, uh, beyond how you see yourself at the moment, what do you think makes you fall into a flow? Anyways, best of luck to you, and I hope that you enjoy your new YouTube channel. It's amazing fun to make videos, it's amazing fun to interact with the community here on YouTube, so I hope you enjoy every minute of it. So if any of you watchers want to find out what your personality type is, you can also take the personality test they did, and if you want to verify your results, feel free to use the link down below to find out what personality type and what subtype you are, depending on how you develop yourself and how you see yourself. I'm more than happy to help anyone who wants to learn more about themselves and to help people get introduced to the Myers-Briggs systems and into the subject of flow type.